Bienvenidos. Welcome back. Our first guest is an incredible comedian who always has us in stitches. Now he's hosting a brand new show, Join or Die. Please welcome back to the show our good friend Craig Ferguson. <laughs> Oh, you like it? Oh, yeah, I've got a little, yeah, no, a little flavor saver going on. <laughs> nice. He's looking like a million bucks, though. Yes. Yeah. And he's hard as a rock. Yeah, yeah, vegan now. Dude, he's, it's the vegan thing. It is. It's like vegan. 18 months or something. I, well, yeah, I remember yeah. the last time you were on the show. You I tried a little bit of burger, though. And? Uh, well, I was like, oh, I don't know. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was good. I was like, nah, nah, I don't want really? anymore. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. The craving is over? Yeah, thanks. Even so. bacon? Well, I, I, but you can't eat that. You can't eat bacon? No, you can't eat bacon. I think everyone in this audience eats bacon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That doesn't mean we disdain no, vegetables no, no, at no. all. No, no, I don't, I don't do the pig, Mario. You don't do the no, pig? No, no. You ever see Pope Fiction? There are too many it's lines that are coming yeah. into my mind right now. <laughs> that line in Pope Fiction, when Sam Jackson says it happened to be a charming, and then he says a word, pig, <laughs> before, yeah. I remember that word. Yeah. Cute, I believe it was cute. Yeah, it was a nice word. So you have a new show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Join or Die on the History Channel. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Are you or have you ever been a history buff? No, I'm not a history buff, but I'm quite interested in hearing that. I think history is a little bit like a psychotherapy for the entire human race. Like, you look at all the mistakes you made in the past and all the times you did stupid stuff, and you think, right. I'll try not to do that again. So I think history is quite interesting like that. So I have people on and ask them questions. But well, do they know history? Yeah, they know it. I don't know it. So we're I... constantly learning. Yes, it's about learning history, learning history, and making it interesting as opposed to... In 1754. That's right. <laughs> At the Battle of Waterloo, there was actually a lack of water. General Zola came over here and was wearing a hat and <laughs> covered He was a little guy. So many people were sick that day. <laughs> like that. That's what history is. That's it? not what this show is. No, though. this is like, guess what? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So have you? Have, I think we call the show that. I like that. I think I guess, guess what would be a yeah, fabulous I think, name for the show. Guess what would be a great name for like Guess it. what? What? <laughs> yeah, that's the catchphrase. So is there anything you're surprised about by this show? I mean, are you learning a lot of things? I'm learning or? a little bit about history, but I think mostly that what happens is in the discussions that. You, I, you, it starts to become very uh, matter of fact. So you discuss, people start to be up here real, like it, it gets a little more alive just by the fact you're discussing it in an informal way. Because I think most people, when they think about history, is it's in school and you have to sit there and listen to it being said. Right. It's a different thing. And it's not alive and it doesn't really make a difference. Right. When suddenly that someone that you've actually liked to hear talk tells you about something historical fact, all of a sudden it's woven more into the regular fabric of your daily life. Right, and also, you know, I used to think everything that happened before the 1960s was in black and white, and apparently that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was I mean, just it, the TV coverage. Right, yeah, I mean, it was like the sun was shining, people were doing stuff, people were having bacon. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> If or they were lucky, bacon they was were hard lucky. to get back then. Back in 1754, the Bacon Wars began. <laughs> A huge, the bacon armies formed on the border. And there was the lard belt behind them. Yeah, that's right. And the British tried to take our bacon, but we said no, and we threw their pigs out. Stop that foolishness. Yeah. All right, well, aside from bacon, then, we're going to continue with our fabulous fiesta day. Yeah, I and eat a lot of Mexican make some food. Rice and beef. If you're vegan, you eat a lot of Mexican food. It's well, because it's good for you, it's yeah. easy to do, and it doesn't need, does, doesn't necessarily involve a compromise if you're going for the vegetable option. And also protein in the beans. Right. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of protein. All right, so we're going to make... always say, when you're a vegan, they're like, where would you get your protein? It's like, <laughs> they say, same, place, you... same place a gorilla gets his protein. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't they, do they ever is... say, aren't you tired? Yeah, yeah. Or, you know what people like to say? Uh, I couldn't be a vegan. I like food. They're like, oh, really? I hate food? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, all right, so let's make some food. Hot. All right. <laughs> so how do you feel about using a knife? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. So we're, we've but got I, sweet I'm potatoes. A vegan. I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Wow! <laughs> Well, yeah, can I say that? You can, it's daytime <laughs> TV. Get it, get it, get it. They have a beepometer back the there, you don't have to. Oh. 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 I just said the crew were laughing, everybody, oh. they seem all right with it. 
the crew laughs, and then they go like this, and you know, oh, that line's not going to make it again, <laughs> is it? It happens to me all the time around here. So we want me to really try... All right, so cut it into pieces. All right, well, we'll cut, cut it... Cut it in the, like... that way first. What, this way yeah. first? Oh, man, oh, all right. That looks yeah. promising. Yeah, all right, so all right. what we're going to do... What, yeah. When great food starts, it often starts with sofrito, and Mexican food is a big part about that. Yeah. The sofrito is the base of the flavor. It adds the sweet and the depth. Sofrito, we have the size. Sofrito, nice. right? Sofrito. So we have onions and garlic. We have yeah. cumin seeds. Yeah. We have cayenne. Do you like it spicy or not too spicy? Oh, a little bit spicy. I like uh, oh, things yes, a little I caliente. <laughs> And a little ancho chili powder. Yeah. So we have some smoky chili. Watch out, that, that smoke is going to be a little toxic. Craig, I know why you're a vegan. You'd never be able to take down a hog with your knife skills. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to like a hog taker. You yeah, put on like a Band-Aid and walk down the street. When's the last time you took down a hog in Cleveland? <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was part of, it's part of the... I gotta go, honey, I'm going out to take down a hog. <laughs> Get some beans! <laughs> Don't forget the rice! <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> all right, all right, so here's what we have here. We have the sweet potatoes now thrown in with the sofrito. All right. We're gonna take your... <laughs> What's wrong, man? I think it's... they look cool. <laughs> they look like... You know what? Gonna... As we always said in second grade, that's right, Craig, you're doing it just about, just like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. We're gonna put your drawing on the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, so what I'm gonna do to slow that braise down, keep in yeah. mind, when you're heating things in a hot pan, yeah. oftentimes the surface gets up to about 340 degrees, yeah. which is nice, it develops caramelization. What do you do when you stop it? You put a little bit of liquid in. Yeah. What temperature does it go to? Three less. less. 212, it's 12. a boiling yeah, temperature. Yeah. We're gonna add some beer. We're going Beer, to... uh oh. Oh yes, yeah. vegan beer. Don't vegan worry beer, about. yeah. We're gonna bring it now, up. All to the a alcohol bowl. gets cooped out, right? Completely. All right then, there's Completely. Fine. So we're gonna braise these until they're tender. That takes about 10 or 15 minutes. Right. We're gonna talk a little bit about pickles. We're gonna eat some tortillas. We're gonna assemble all these beautiful tacos when we come back. More fun with Craig, Fer Craig Ferguson. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back and bienvenidos. We're joined by our friend and the host of the new show, Join or Die, funny guy Craig Ferguson. Yeah. 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 And he's a drummer. While we were gone, we made some pickles. We took radishes. We put them in with some sliced jalapenos, garlic, a little sugar, a little salt, and some white wine vinegar. We let it sit in the fridge overnight, and bang, bang, probiotic joy and health. <laughs> mm. Smelling good, right? Mm. Smelling a little rich and funky, but really good? Yeah, no, I like pickles. So do I. Yeah, but I'm not, it's, it's a little early for me for, for pickles. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like a, I like the sun has to go down. You mean down. early in the season, early in the year, or early yeah, it's in the early day? In the, is there a pickle season? <laughs> well, pickle, pickles, uh, you, wind's pick changing. I think pickle season is coming <laughs> uh, you guys ready for a jar of pickles? I don't know. Can you handle pickles? You're one of them vegans, ain't you? <laughs> Carla, we I gotta go ahead and take down a hog. Fresh tortillas coming up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so let me ask you this. Yeah. You have a lot of guests on your show, celebs. Yeah. Are there any of particular excellence in the history world? Uh, yeah, most of them are actually pretty good. What I did was I, I made sure that we booked celebrities that, uh, that I'd... What are, you, what are you doing with my pickles? We're going to put them back I'm just going to the take plate. them home. Well, you can. I'm going to take a taste. All right. Ooh, thank you. And thank you, Guadalupe. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Guadalupe. So you booked some smart guests? You, that yeah, you I always made sure we booked guests that were, you know, I thought were smart when I was doing the late night show. So that, you know, you don't book guests that are like, uh, I don't know. Um, and it, and it kind of works. These are really good. You should do this for a living. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but you know, there's no money in it. There's no glory. No money no in it? You yeah. can't do anything with That's it. That's right. Poor old Mario. No money at all. <laughs> can't even buy a decent pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh! So tell me, tell me, are there any parts of your past you'd rather not talk about on TV? <laughs> yeah, quite a lot of them, All actually, right. yeah. Weren't you in a rock band? I was, yeah, I was, I was a drummer, but that, I was as good with uh, drumsticks as I was with a knife. You know what There's I mean? your band right there. Yeah, that's, that's me when I was 18. Look at well, that. What was the name of the band? Oh, my God, huh? amazing. What? That band... That band was called uh, Dream Boys. Uh, Dream Boys? Yeah, 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 we were dreamy. Uh, before that, we were called the Bastards from Hell. Oh, that'll get you right past the censors as well, won't it? Yeah, I think that's all right. All right? It? Yeah, I think you Do can... you like hot sauce? Sure. A little bit? This is homemade hot sauce. Do we have a safety yours? word? A uh, safety word is, <laughs> help me. Let's take yeah, a bite and see what you think. All right. <laughs> all right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Holy crap, Mario, that's really good. 
really good. And the beauty of this, vegetarian food, if you serve this to your friends, they're not going to say, oh, you're a vegan, are you? No. They're going to say, man, this is really delicious. You must have learned this from Mario Battaglia. Look at you. <laughs> and, and the corn yeah. tortillas are outrageous. Guadalupe's tortillas are what actually make the whole dish. Outrageous. So, so good. When you find a great nice. tortilla, support nice. the nice. store. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming by, buddy. I'm so wow. happy to have you here. Great to see you, man. Be sure to check out Join or Die, premiering tonight on the History. Check your local listings.